not trying to be a conspiracy theorist or anything, but uh, does anyone else feel it's quite strange that several dams in the Tennessee and North Carolina areas have failed? Let's all come to the agreement that Hurricane Helene was not normal. Now, you may be of the persuasion of it's climate change and fracking and oil is destroying the earth. Or you might be under the persuasion of this is geoengineered and man-made. And I think this proves it. Hurricane Helene's path and behavior just the result of natural processes and climate patterns? Or was it manipulated? The circular blue flashes seen in this video are frequency transmissions from the NEXRAD network of transmitter installations. All available science evidence makes clear that atmospheric frequency transmissions can and do have a repelling effect on air masses, especially if and when the air masses have been seeded with electrically conductive nanoparticles. The brighter the blue flash from a frequency transmission installation, the more pronounced and powerful the repelling effect on any air mass or storm in the vicinity will be. Where there are no blue flashes, there is no transmission, thus no repelling effect, thus no resistance for a migrating storm. Translation, a migrating storm will be hindered from moving toward frequency transmissions and will easily migrate in a direction with no transmissions. So again I ask, was Hurricane Helene's path and behavior just an act of nature, or was it engineered? You decide. Now, of course, you're going to hear people say that a storm moved from the top down and pressed Helene there and held it in place so that it could dump upwards of 30 inches of rain in some places, causing not one but two dams to totally collapse. Warning for us here in East Tennessee, there has been a dam breakage and if you live in these areas, you need to take immediate cover. This is a flash flood warning for um, the following counties, Western Cox, Southern Hamblin, and Southern Jefferson County in East Tennessee. Here the hurricane hit and this is in North Carolina and I am seeing precious little about the devastation in the Smoky Mountains. We're talking about North Carolina, we're talking about Tennessee, and these are places where the dams broke and days and days of rain were hit by just an onslaught of water. And, and of course, by telling people they should be prepared for anything at any time, was a little unpopular with those who refused to prepare. Folks, look, there are two types of people in this world. There are survivors and there are not survivors. And guess what? You live in America, so if you don't want to prepare, don't prepare. But understand this, when the power goes out, when the water stops running, when you can no longer flush your commode, when there's no grocery stores to go get food and no roads off the mountain, that also means there's no way for rescue vehicles to get up the mountain either. It means that 911 isn't going to work. It means that there's no gas station for the rescue vehicles to refuel at. It means they have a limited amount of food and water to spread out amongst thousands of people who probably, like you, chose not to be prepared. So when did America become a country that needed to be saved from itself versus people who got out in the community and helped save others. That's really the question we should all be asking. Because folks, these storms are going to continue to get worse. Nope, I don't believe in climate change made by fracking. I believe in geoengineering, cloud seeding, and weather modification. Because why? Our government has been doing it since the 1940s and have admitted to using weather as a weapon against other countries in wartime. Now, what would the government benefit if they destroy towns across eastern United States? Well, you get all those people out of those hollows and those hills, and you get them down into their 15-minute World Economic Forum cities. You destroy thousands of acres of crops ready to be harvested. You take out millions of pigs, ducks, turkeys, chickens, 
cows and milk cows ready to be butchered. So who's doing it? I don't know, but I'm not the only one saying it. Under attack. I cannot remember a time since I've been alive that our infrastructure has failed so catastrophically. We are having train derailments and explosions and just plumes of toxic smoke, and it's going to just circle all across America. So, um, yeah, I think we're under attack. Uh, build a bunker. That's a good idea. Build a bunker. <laughs> like food. Bullets. Friends. So take it from me, somebody who lived through a 100 year flood, the 2016 Great Flood in Southeast Louisiana, unexpected. Guess what happened? Hurricane came in. Actually, it wasn't even that, it was just a storm. But it sat on top of Louisiana and Arkansas for four days, dumping upwards of 45 inches of rain that came barreling down the Mississippi, flooding 20 entire parishes. Yep. They said it would never happen, but it did. You think it can't happen to you? You're not in the flood zone, right? I've heard that all day. I don't live in the flood zone. Uh-huh. Not me. I don't live in the flood zone. Do you live in an area that's low on water? Have you ever considered the thought that maybe their water might just turn off one day? You ever seen what a person looks like three days with no water? Yeah. Yeah. Do you live in an area that's prone to wildfires? Have you seen how bad the wildfires are lately, folks? Anybody remember Maui? It melted aluminum rims, people, but it left the trees fully intact. I don't know about you, but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to look around and say, what in the gosh darn's going on? Weather has become a weapon. Welcome to the New World Order's First steps as they march across the great United States. Your vote, your vote does count in November. You can, you can easily vote in. <laughs> or you can vote in somebody that has a plan. And I see that people actually have a problem with him saying, hey guys, you're going to be okay. Because guess what? You are going to be okay. If you survive the storms in North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, with this nonsense going on in Georgia? Yeah, it's a bio labs. The third time it's blown up in 15 years. Guys, we are under attack in this country. But guess what? If you're still alive, you will be okay. I walked out of a great flood with nothing but my shoes on. I know what FEMA gave three adults who lost two vehicles and their home and everything they owned? $12,000. You heard me right. It was in 2016. In 2024, we own everything with no debt. Vehicles, home, and property we built back. If we can do it, you can do it. You'll be okay. It's just a house. It's just a business. It was only a car. As long as you were still alive, you're going to be okay, friend. God bless you. Follow us, subscribe to us, comment, share this, spread the truth. It's going to be all right, but people need to wake up. These are not normal storms. They are not made because somebody drilled for oil or they fracked. Seriously, seriously. I mean, you can literally see the radar going on in the storm, directing it. Do you know what the Bible says? It says, blessed are the eyes that see and blessed are the ears that hear. And on top of that, you got people talking about an alien federation heading towards Earth. What the fuck is going on? Ports are about to close. You got motherfuckers not taking nothing serious. And y'all talking about aliens?
they just dismantled some of the biggest patriotic states in America and another one's heading their way. On on in Western North Carolina and I'm making this video again. I'm crying out to everybody. If you know anybody, please share this video with them. Send this to your news media. Send it to everybody you know because the fact is we're getting very little coverage and I think that the vast majority of people in the United States have no clue what in the world just happened up here in Western North Carolina. The destruction that's up there is beyond belief. They have no power. They have no bridges. They have nothing left up there. There's many towns that have been completely wiped out. One of them is Montreat, which you see here. I took Google Earth, I wanted to show you the area. So Black Mountain and Montreat and this whole area seems to be where it's the absolute worst. I lived up here for three years. I still have